Hi, I'm Mark Lewis, Executive Chairman of Bernie Lewis, and welcome to the next of our videos. Today, we're going to get uh, Scott Kirkwood, one of our directors and one of our financial planners, to just run through the financial planning process. Obviously, it's a, it's a complex process, and he's going to try and simplify that for you, so you know what to expect when you're sitting down with a financial planner to get financial advice. So for now, over to you, Scott. Thanks, Mark, and welcome back to the next Bernie Lewis video presentation. My name's Scott Kirkwood and I'm a director here at Bernie Lewis and one of the financial advisors. Today, rather than taking you through a technical talk on superannuation or tax or life insurance or financial planning in some aspect, all of those things we do here at Bernie Lewis, I thought that we'd take a step back and actually introduce the process of financial advice. So what can you expect if you come and see an advisor? if you're a new client or just sussing out Bernie Lewis for the first time. We think it's important that you feel comfortable, relaxed and informed. Informed to make the right decisions in life about all of your financial matters, being that of a home loan, superannuation or financial planning. Over the last 15 to 20 years in financial services, I've seen that there are a number of areas that people like myself can actually give advice. It can all be a bit confusing at times, but when we start to break it down and understand that there is actually a process to go through, it makes taking on financial advice a lot easier. What I've found is that there's actually about three key areas that are really important to focus on. And so if you're getting advice from a financial advisor or if you're seeing one of our Bernie Lewis advisors, then these are some of the areas that you can expect to hear about. The first area that we talk about is what we call product. Product advice is really important. We look at whether you have shares, whether Telstra is good to keep, whether BHP should be sold, whether you should buy some National Australia Bank or some Woolies shares. We might look at your superannuation and understand whether you're in Super, super SA or the Triple S scheme or you have uh, another type of superannuation scheme. We'll look at things like your mortgage and make sure that you actually have the right home loan to meet your needs. All of those things are actually really important, but the reality is, is that we might only spend perhaps 10 to 15% of our time actually looking at those products that you have. Why would you say that? Well, products come and go. And what we've found over the last 10 to 15 or 20 odd years of advising clients in South Australia is that a lot of advice is given at a product area really only for one thing. And that one thing is commission. Now, this presentation is not a presentation about the pros and cons versus commission or fees. We've just decided at Bernie Lewis that when we give advice to our clients on superannuation uh, or investment products, that we actually won't take commission, but in fact, we're a fee for service business. I'm a pretty messy writer, but essentially a fee-for-service business means that our advice is really tailored around the right product selection for our clients, rather than the need to actually meet sales quotas or, or, or reach the next destination on a sales trip. I'm not saying commission is wrong. If you have a financial planner that charges commission, that may be fine. But for us at Bernie Lewis, we believe that the product selection uh, often comes and goes. And if too much focus is put on the product, then we actually start to miss the whole purpose of financial planning. The second area that we actually advise clients in is what we call structure. And when we talk about structure, we're really talking about things like ownership, tax and asset class. Asset classes such as, should you buy shares as an investment? Should it be property? Should you have some cash or some fixed interest? In your superannuation, should your money be weighted towards shares or should it, you be exposed to perhaps say some infrastructure? All of those asset classes are all great, they're all terrific, but they all have their place and their part in your advice. One is not better than the other. And so it's important that when we're giving advice that we get the right asset class for you, that we have the right tax structures, that the right ownership is in place. For example, if you're a married couple, it might be best that, that the non-working partner holds the investments. 
Is it right to have investments in your children's names? They're all of the areas of ownership and tax which are really important and really slip in underneath structure. Structure is also the way that Bernie Lewis advises our clients from an internal perspective. So it's really important that when you come to us that we actually give you the right advisor to work with you. And so we'll bring in a specialist mortgage advisor to work with, say, a financial planner. We might link you to the right accountant or the right lawyer to look at your estate planning. So having the right advisors helping you is really important. So we spend a bit more time on structure and we might spend anywhere from, say, 30 to 40% of our time making sure that you're in the right structure. Where does it go from here? Well, the next area of advice and perhaps the most important area of advice is what we call strategy. Strategy is actually all about you. It's all about understanding your goals and your dreams. It's about understanding your retirement or your holiday, the type of car that you'd like to buy or the school that you'd like to send your children to. Those goals are really important. And if we don't understand as financial planners your goals, it's very hard for us to build the right strategy, then to have the right structure, and then ultimately to have the right product. And so where unfortunately in financial planning often clients will come to us and they'll share with us that they've been to see somebody and they've been sold a product that is completely uh, unrelated to their circumstances or completely the wrong type of product. Well, in our view, it doesn't start with a product, but it actually ends with a product. The whole process actually starts with understanding you and what your goals are, then building the right strategy to achieve your goals, then building the right scaffolding, the right structure that sits around those goals, and then ultimately setting up within that structure or that strategy the right product selection. Once we get the flow of advice right, then we know ultimately that our clients' goals will be realised. That your dreams of independence, financial independence, or uh, the building of a business, or the, the education of your children would be realised. And that it would be safe, it would be secured. It would actually meet one of our goals here at Bernie Lewis, and that is to provide advice that centres around home ownership and financial independence for all of our clients. And so that's what you can expect. If you come to a Bernie Lewis advisor, you can expect them to take you through a process that uncovers what your goals are and ultimately leads you to a solution. A solution that you can manage with the advice of your advisor. Thanks again for tuning in to this edition of Bernie Lewis Video. We look forward to seeing you next time. And please don't hesitate to come into one of our offices or talk to a Bernie Lewis advisor and ask them about financial services and your financial independence. Thanks again. Okay, thanks for that, Scott. That was a really good explanation of what is what can be a very complex process. Don't forget, if you want to see a financial advisor or if you want to talk about your home loan or look at getting a home loan or work out how much you can borrow, just give us a call on 8300 8300 or visit our website at uh, bernielewis.com.au or jump onto Facebook and look at our uh, Facebook page there. Don't forget to click on that like button and uh, you can also see us on Twitter as well. So uh, until next time, bye for now.